New at five, your electric and gas bill is going up. In a pair of split votes today, City Council approving a two-part rate hike. It'll raise the average CPS energy bill by more than $5 a month. Yeah, the increase, which includes a 3.85% bump in the base rate and a higher fuel charge, takes effect on, effect on March 1st. Though the rate hike passed, Garrett Berger tells us council members tried to get some promises first. In the midst of a pandemic and less than a year after many customers were thrown into the dark and cold in the February freeze, the city council raised CPS customers rates for the first time in eight years. This moment in time may be a very, very bad time, but when is it ever a good time for a rate increase? But with the utility saying it needed the higher fuel charge to pay for costs related to the freeze and the bump in the base rate for infrastructure, staffing and technology needs, Council voted 9 to 2 and 8 to 3 respectively for the two parts of the increase. After everything I've heard, I'm convinced that CPS has made the business case um, for the necessity of this. Cognizant of the record low trust in the utility, some members tried to get assurances on a variety of pressure points. A third party audit laying out a path to getting rid of the utility's coal power and restructuring rates. The city attorney, though, warned those kind of commitments weren't tied to the vote and aren't legally binding. District 5's Terry Castillo called it bad negotiating to give the utility the increase anyways. With approval, we as council are totally losing our leverage to make critical improvements to the rate structure as well as the organizational culture at CPS. Interim President and CEO Rudy Garza, though, told reporters he would follow through. The term leverage is unnecessary with an asset that you own. That's quite frankly, that's ridiculous. I've made commitments. You know, there's a lot of things I am, but uh, going back on my, my words, not one of them. And this isn't the last time CPS is going to be coming back for a rate increase. In the five year plan they laid out, they talked about coming back every other year. On City Council, I'm Garrett Berger, KSAT 12 News.